Hey guys, Ray from LoveYourRV.com. Well, I finally picked myself up a kilowatt meter. It's amazing I've never had one of these. I guess because I can measure stuff with my multimeter and stuff, but uh, this makes it very easy to see what uh, an appliance will draw as far as wattage, which is really important if you're starting to map out your system for boondocking in an RV. You can plug stuff into this and kind of get a figure a figure out what kind of energy it's going to draw. So let me get it out of the package and I'll go through some of its features and why it, why it might why you might want one of these for a RV and especially if you're going to be doing any dry camping. Okay, there we go out of the box. Let's give her a test now and go through the functions. I'm just going to use the Jackery box. I reviewed this in the summer. It's a, a power station using a lithium battery, but it has an AC plug here and it'll just make it convenient for me. Most of my RV plugs are in strange locations, like there's one up there, but you can plug it into any household outlet. So let's try plugging it into this one's uh, inverter output, which is one reason I wanted uh, a device like this. It's going to make it easy for me when I'm doing reviews on, on stuff like this where I'm testing an inverter output rather than getting my multimeter out and my amp meter and all that kind of stuff. This thing will show it all on this display. So we'll plug that in there should get the voltage so it's showing 109.9 volts AC of course we got no amps or watts going on so let's plug in something to test what I'm going to use is Ann's uh, electric throw here she really likes this for cold nights and it doesn't draw too much power so I'm going to plug it in just to test out how much it draws We'll put that in there and we'll crank this on. We'll put it on to full here. Okay, so let's check her out. Shows we're drawing about 0.9 amps, about 97 watts out of the, the box here. Which is a pretty close. I think this is rated for 120 watts max, this electric throw. And uh, this button here shows me cycles per second, 60.3, that's what this box is showing. And here we have kilowatt hours and how long we've been measuring it, so that's four minutes. This over time will show me how many uh, kilowatt hours it's using, kilowatts per hour, volts, amps, watts. So. Uh, for figuring out, oh, you can see it cycle there because this uh, electric throw kind of cycles um, as it heats up. There's a thermostat in it, so you can see how it's cycling. That's where the kilowatts per hour would come in if you ran it, say, over the course of uh, eight hours or something. It would show you exactly uh, how much energy it used. And that's where it comes in handy for uh, figuring out your off grid system. You can plug different items in here and run it the time that you're going to run it in a day and slowly add up how many kilowatt hours you're going to use in a day. And then you can uh, use some mathematics and calculations to uh, figure out your, the amount of batteries you're going to need and how much you're going to have to recharge every day so that you can, uh, you can uh, use solar to power your rig or you know, I mean, how many hours you can run your generator. Let's do one more quick demo to interest. So let's use this heater here. We'll turn it on. Let's see what the fan draws. Let's we'll put it on a lower heat source. And you can see we're drawing 4.51 amps and 494 watts. There's your volts, amps, watts. Trying to see the kilowatt hours. So you'd have to divide that if you wanted watt hours by a thousand um, to get it to, because a lot of batteries now are coming out measured in uh, watt hours, like my, my new lithium batteries. I think they're 1334 watt hours, so they'd be 1.34 kilowatt hours. hours. So you can see there'd be some math and calculations to figure out, but this is a handy device to get you those specs. 
So then you can go in and figure everything out. So there you go, a quick look at one of my new gadgets I just picked up. Um, I got it off of uh, Amazon, I think it was around $24.95. Uh, this is the kilowatt. I noticed when I going through Amazon, there was all kinds of other ones too from different manufacturers, as low as uh, like fourteen ninety five. So they probably all do mostly the same thing. I just picked this one up because this is the one that's been around for quite a while, and I guess uh, you'll see it as I go uh, going through, you know. But probably use it in a lot of reviews and stuff. So I'll update you on on how it's worked out for me. Till next time, Ray from LoveYourRV.com. Thanks for watching. Cheers.